Good day everybody, Kevin Baylor, Alliance IT. Just wanted to take a minute and uh, talk about something I uh, haven't talked about in a while, at least not in five minutes, uh, that's security. Uh, Office 365, uh, they have their own security center um, and whether you're an admin in your organization or you're in IT or you're working with somebody in IT, checking out your secure score in the security center in Office 365 is something you should be doing uh, on a quarterly basis, if not potentially a monthly basis, depending on the size of your organization and how much things in your organization uh, may change. So log into uh, portal.office.com, uh, go to the admin section. If you don't see it, you can click on the little uh, dotted menu up here and go to admin. Once you're in the admin section, you're gonna go down here uh, to the security center, uh, security and compliance, presuming you've got the uh, new fancy uh, look that Microsoft has released in their uh, portal recently. Once you're in uh, security and compliance, that's going to bring you over to a screen that kind of looks like this, and uh, you're going to see your Microsoft Secure Score over here. So scroll down to there, select your uh, Microsoft Secure Score, and it'll take you to that detailed pane. Um, what this is, this is give you an overview and a suggestion. So this changes constantly. Uh, three months ago, the top score might have been 650 and you might have had 380 points. You were looking really good. Well, now Microsoft says, hey, these things are new anomalies or new security risks and you need to do this to prevent them. So the more risks that are out there, the more vulnerabilities, then the more things you need to do. Thus, the higher and that number is, and then potentially the lower your score is if you haven't implemented these new things. Um, this is something that you should be looking at on a regular basis. Um, it gives you really good insight as to what you're doing, how you compare to other organizations of your size, um, gives you severity levels. So, you know, if it's Something that's really important, like multi-factor authentication, that is something that everybody should be doing. Um, whether it's tied into your Active Directory or tied into your email or tied into you know, 10 different apps that you have. Uh, some sort of two-factor, multi-factor authentication should be in place. Uh, so this gives you that insight whether you've done it or not. Um, different policies and rules that you should implement depending on what apps you're using, um, you know, what plan you have with Microsoft uh, 365 or Office 365. So this number is gonna be different for every organization. It's gonna change um, on a constant basis. Uh, so it's something that you should go in here and look at, uh, be a part of your management meetings or your IT strategy. Um, it's not something you just want to glance at, you know, once a year. Uh, this is something that's really important. Um, so whether you're defining, you know, somebody in your organization to be responsible for this or, you know, you're working with an IT provider, um, make sure we're checking that Microsoft Secure Score. Uh, and if your IT provider or IT department's talking to you about it, pay attention. It is important. Stay safe. Stay secure. Have a great day. Thank you.